my friends. So today I want to talk a little bit more about sleep and um, go a little bit deeper into it. So today I'm going to talk about your adrenal glands or your adrenal system, which is like the first responders when you're stressed. So if you're constantly in a um, stressed environment or a stressed state of mind, your adrenals are working overtime. <clears throat> which is what causes, like, your adrenaline rushes. Um, but the problem with being stressed out all the time like that is, one, your adrenals don't know when to turn on and when to turn off. So you're constantly in that fight or flight stage, which is producing more cortisol, which is not a good thing if you're trying to lose weight, hint, hint. Or two, it really disrupts your sleep pattern. Um, one thing that can happen is is that you're, a, you get flipped. So like when you're laying in bed and you're trying to go to sleep and your mind keeps racing and racing and racing and you can't shut it off to go to sleep. And then all day long you're just kind of groggy and draggy and can't function. So you really need to just kind of support your adrenal glands and figure out a way to get out of that stress. Sorry. To get out of that stress state of um, situation or state of mind. I don't know how you really want to say it. Um, supporting your adrenal glands will help. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, I have to look at my notes. Otherwise, I kind of go off of squirrel moments. And then we don't ever know what I'm talking about. Um, so, like, one thing you can do is think about <clears throat> sleep as in, like, your computer. When you get those, when you're in the middle of doing something that you deem is important and you get one of those stupid notifications that says there's been an update and you need to restart your computer, do you hit restart now or do you hit remind me later? I'm a remind me later kind of person, which usually doesn't ever work out. But what tends to happen in real life is, is when our body is signaling us that it's time to reset or reboot is when we need sleep. And a lot of us just kind of hit that remind later button and we keep progressing or doing whatever we're doing because we deem it extremely important, which I'm not saying that it's not, but if we actually understood how important sleep was to us, I think we would put a lot more effort into getting good sleep. Not just seven hours, seven, uh, sorry, seven hours or eight hours of sleep, but I mean good quality sleep. Um, but anyway, so like I said, we tend to hit that remind me later button and we just continue to do whatever it is we deem that is extremely important. And then that's when our brain sleep acts as, hang on, sleep acts as to us like it does for the computer to reset. So when we go to sleep and our brain stops and it can stop processing everything, it can start resting and healing and in the background processing the information so that we can move on the next day. But if we don't go to sleep and we don't let it reset, then we're constantly hitting that remind me later button so the updates never happen and then what happens eventually is your computer just crashes and then you have to call your sister and ask her to come fix your computer for you because you didn't do what you were supposed to do. Well, same thing with your body. Your body just gets to a point where it can't function anymore and it's a prime breeding place for illness. Mm -hmm. For real. Um, so not only that, there is another study that was done that I want to tell you about um, that if you do not get eight hours of sleep for two weeks in a row so like you get less than eight hours of sleep so you get like six hours five hours four hours go back to our early college days mm -hmm. and we sleep like that for two weeks we actually have the same operating capacity as somebody who has had too much to drink. Think about that. Two weeks of less than eight hours of sleep a night 
we have the same mental capacity of somebody who has had too much to drink. And what happens to people who have had too much to drink and are on the road? DUI. So, listening to your body tell you to rest, listen to it. Don't hit that remind me later button. I know it comes at inconvenient times. Trust me. I am a let's push through it. Let's just get it done. Go, 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 go. But over the process of all of this, I have learned that it's better and faster to go ahead and take that rest and say no to people than to keep pushing through because your recovery is going to be so much longer before you get back to your mental capacity of where you can handle things. So that's what I've got for you today. Support your adrenal glands. Get out of that fright or flight mode so that you can reduce those cortisol levels so your adrenals, adrenaline will go down so that you can sleep at night and get eight hours of sleep, good sleep, or seven hours. I use, I do better on seven. but um, And that's all I got for you.